Hi, I'm Anisha Pindoria, and I'm a senior program manager in the Azure DevOps team. Um, and today I'm not joined with any guests, but that doesn't mean that I don't have anything to show you for the sprint. I actually have quite a few bits to show you for the sprint 152. Um, so let's just get uh, stuck in straight away. Um, so for sprint 152, we've made a, a couple of improvements to the wiki. So let me just dig straight in and show you what that looks like right now. So as you'll see straight from the bat, um, we've actually moved the page navigation tree from the right hand side to the left hand side. The reason we actually did this is because it's the natural flow of data from left to right. Um, we've also um, consolidated a lot of the menu actions for the wiki into three separate categories. Uh, we've got the wiki level actions next to the wiki picker. We've got the tree level actions right here as well. And then we've got the individual uh, page level actions as well. You'll also notice that um, the new page button has been moved into the uh, wiki pane. Uh, this makes things a lot more easier and it's consistent with the rest of the design that we have throughout the product. And uh, we've also added a visible count right next to the uh, follow functionality. Uh, so you can actually see how popular a page might be. Um, Another thing that we've done for uh, the wiki is that we've enabled um, some support for some of the HTML tags. So let me show you what we've done there. Um, so you'll notice that we now have collapsible sections. So this is something that we have um, now support in the wiki. Uh, you'll notice that um, we have the details tag and then within the details tag, you have a summary tag. Uh, the summary tag is essentially the title of the section. And then um, after that, you just add in your content for that section. We've also added support to add a caption to your images using the figure and fig caption tags as well. Um, you can see that how I've done that here as well. So you've got the figure tag, uh, which in this case is just an image. And then I've also added the fig caption, uh, which you can just add um, what it is. And you can have the fig caption both at the bottom or the top of the image or the figure. We've also added support be able to highlight parts of the text within the wiki as well. Uh, to be able to do that, you just need to use the mark tag um, and you just open the mark tag as you would do with any other HTML tag uh, when you want to start highlighting and then you end it where you want to stop highlighting. And let me go over um, some of the improvements that we've made within the table creation and editing portion of the wiki. Uh, this is pretty cool. I love this. So. We now allow you to just create a table from a grid uh, with just a simple click of a button. Um, so you don't have to remember any of this table syntax anymore and that saves you a lot of time. So to do that, you just click on the table options up in the toolbar here and you can select how many uh, columns and rows you want um, in a table. Uh, maximum goes up to 15 by 15, but for uh, this video, we'll just go ahead and just add a four by four table. And that's it. It's just added the syntax for you. You don't need to worry about spacing and all that other kind of stuff. Um, all you need to do now is just pop in your content and that's it. Uh, we've also um, added better table readability using word wrap now. So you'll notice that uh, we have this table at the bottom here. And right now, the uh, rows um, are automatically wrapping um, around. Uh, that's because I have the word wrap enabled. If I disabled it, you'll see what happens is that you'll now get a scroll bar at the bottom of the window um, and you just, just scroll that across to see the rest of the content. Um, so I'll go ahead and just enable it just for now. The other thing that we've done, and I love this feature, is that we've added auto formatting um, to markdown tables. So let me show you what that looks like. To do that, I need to go switch over into the edit only view. And if I go into table options and now click on format tables, you'll notice that it automatically adds the relevant spacing to make it easier to read and see the contents of a table when you're in the editing mode. So this makes things so much more simple and easy. So that's that's all of the, well, that's most of the stuff that we've done for the wiki and there's several more in the release notes as well. Uh, some of the other improvements that we've made is that we've now introduced a couple of new commands to the Azure DevOps CLI. So let me show you what that looks like as well. So one of the new commands in the Azure DevOps CLI is the AZ pipelines command. Um, you can now use this command to create and manage pipelines from the CLI, or you can automate uh, the entire setup using a script, which makes things so much easy and fast uh, to do. 
The other thing that we've done is that we've added the AZ pipelines tag. You can now use this command to kick off a build and tag the build at the same time. Uh, with this command, you'll be able to add, delete, um, or just get a list of the build tags as well. Um, and this one I'm sure is going to be a favorite to a lot is the AZ DevOps user command. You can use this command to create a script to add um, and update a user and repeat the steps by just running a script instead of what you had to do before is by having to repeat the same steps to add a new user and add the user to a license, which can be quite tedious and error prone as well. So um, that's just some of the um, new commands that, that we've released for Sprint 152. I definitely recommend checking out the rest of the features and the rest of the improvements we've made for this sprint. Um, check out the release notes. Uh, you'll see the link um, at the bottom as well as in this video as well. And let us know what you think about it. Um, all of these features have been rolled out to all organizations now, so you can get your hands on them and start playing with them today. Um, so, and let us know in the comments below what you think about them. So that's it for this sprint video. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.